In this video, we will be discussing about the traceroute functionality of ACI, how traceroute works. So, what we will be looking here is uh, uh, so the traceroute between two endpoint and the traceroute between endpoint to the external uh, node. Okay, so here I have a server one which is connected to the leaf 103 having the 15.15.15.3 IP and server 2 having the 15.15.15.2 uh, IP connected to the leaf 104 so first we we'll look at the traceroute between uh, these two servers so we'll go to the CLI Open this I traceroute. Um, so I have an internal both the servers are connected with the fabric so I'll use as a source IP okay if you want to use otherwise you can directly use the destination IP but I'll do the trace route using the source IP after then you need to give the source so I'll give 15.15.3 and the destination IP which is 15.15.2 then you give the VRF so the VRF mean what I have and the encapsulation so you have to use the encapsulation so basically it's uh, the VLAN number for which you have uh, enabled this EPG or endpoint so in my case is a 490 and after then uh, sorry after NCAP you have to use the VLAN and the VLAN ID and then you would have to use uh, what trace you like whether you want to trace UDP packet TCP packet so normal trace would we'll use the ICMP okay Okay, uh, so it's a 150 IP address. So let me just uh, write it here again. So okay, so we'll use the same command. So once you hit this command, uh, so normally in the NXOS or other devices, you would see the trace root output uh, getting display, start getting display immediately. But in the ACI, how it works? First, it processes the complete output, uh, and then it shows in the one go. Okay. So here we can see this is. Uh, uh, so we look at this tap IP address. Okay, so I'm getting learning this IP address. Uh, okay, uh, I used the uh, subnet. I should use the endpoint address. Let's try this again. Okay, so here the output is displayed. Uh, so the first node is uh, so let me do this. Let's check whether I can do this. Grab. I'll grab this IP address, tap address. So that is the spine. Okay, and the next hop is a eighty dot sixty nine. So which is a leaf 104 so here it is showing it is going from the spine one and then to the leaf 101 uh, to the interface one slash 50 where i have a uh, another server connected now what we'll do next is uh, we'll do the trace between the server and the external node so i have the server so i'll use the same ip address source ip address as a endpoint address and the destination address as a uh, the IP which I am learning from um, outside network okay so to do the external trace route what you have to do I trace route and you will have to use the external keyword then the, again the same thing source IP uh, 150.150.3 and the destination IP I have 30.30.30.2 
and then you will have to use a VRF. Let me see VRF which I have and uh, MCAT VLAB that's again 490 and the uh, ICAT. So let's uh, wait for the Facebook to process completely. Okay, so here is the output display. So you can see uh, this is the spine one. Okay, and then uh, from there it is going to to the so let's do the this thing. See it I have there. Okay, so this is going to leave one one zero two. So the now you will see the uh, two table. The first table is always uh, within the fabric, and the second table where the IP address you will see, which is uh, outside the ACI fabric. So here you can see the uh, interface number because that is within the fabric. Okay. So first is going to the spine. Uh, it's exiting from the spine Ethernet one slash twenty one. 27 and then it is going to the leaf okay and from uh, border leaf it is existing and then this is the out, uh, IP address of the uh, external node where you do not see the interface because it is um, it's outside the fabric okay so this is how you can uh, uh, do the trace route of the external node okay one thing here to remember uh, the source IP address what you use here is a endpoint IP address not a IP address of your uh, own SVI okay so say you have a server connected via the L3 out or you want to do the trace route between two L3 out so in this case what you'll have to do you'll have to use the IP address as a your own IP address uh, say your SVI IP address and uh, uh, then you'll have to use the encapsulation VLAN as a zero okay um, I do not have a 2 L3 out at this moment uh, but this is how uh, if you do the trace route between 2 L3 out uh, this is the command you will have to use it thank you for watching this video